Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to bring you a new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, April 4th, 2017. If you guys enjoy the video, please leave it a like rating. So this one's going to be a real quick one, guys. There's not a lot coming out. It's still an exciting week, but uh, not a lot of titles to really look at. Um, so this week I will be off um, to watch this, so I should be able to get a review up for you guys pretty quick on uh, Rogue One. Um, I also got requested to review um, <laughs> Why Him. Uh, is there any other recent releases that I haven't reviewed that you guys would like my opinion on? You guys may have asked in the comments. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I plan on reviewing those two at least. I'm not, I don't have any plans for my days off this week, so I'm going to try to catch up on some movies. Okay, so let's just get into this one. Uh, first up, we have Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Um, a lot of people are saying this one's really good. I'm really excited to check it out. I really liked um, Episode 7, so I know this isn't a sequel to that or anything, but I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, this is rated PG-13, a 2 hour and 13 minute runtime. This is an action adventure sci-fi with an 8 out of 10 rating on IMDb. The Rebel Alliance makes a risky move to steal the plans for the Death Star, setting up the epic saga to follow. <laughs> uh, stars Felicity Jones, Diego Luna, Alan Tudyk, anyways, Forrest Whitaker. Uh, so this one, kind of interesting, maybe you guys know, I, I'm not really sure, I didn't try to look it up, but um, this will not have a standard 3D release. Is Disney going to wait and release the standard 3D version later, or what's the deal with that? I'm kind of confused. And um, I would say that was definitely the case, because that's been the case with a lot of Disney movies lately. But um, there is versions releasing with the 3D, so I'm kind of confused. <laughs> um, so just so you guys know, Target is running a promotion right now too, where if you spend $50 on uh, Rogue One or Star Wars or whatever uh, merchandise, you get $10 off. So um, this Rogue One is included in that if you buy the movie. And then it's like 25 off 100 or something like that. So all editions will have that promotion going. But you will have to spend, you know, fifty or hundred dollars <laughs> to take advantage of that, um, and that would just be on all, you know, only Star Wars. You can't like go buy a bunch of Pepsi or <laughs> or something like that. Uh, so first up, we have the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. Um, I did pre-order this one. Sadly, my sh uh, tracking says I won't be getting this till Tuesday. So if I can stay up late enough, I might be able to put the unboxing up Tuesday. If not, it won't be up till Wednesday. Sorry, guys. Um, Nothing I can do about it. Uh, so this will have the 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack for $24.99. Uh, it's not the greatest artwork ever. It's not terrible either. I do like it, and I am definitely looking forward to getting it. Target will also have an exclusive version that has interchangeable cover pictures. Um, I think kind of like they did on the last Star Trek movie, uh, which will have a 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD for $27.99. So again, you do get the 3D version, but for $3 more, I would much rather have the Best Buy Steelbook. Uh, when The Force Awakens came out, those Steelbooks were plentiful. In fact, I don't think Best Buy has even exhausted their supply of those yet. So um, I imagine this one's going to be uh, plentiful as well. This will also be releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and Digital HD combo pack. Amazon does not have their price listed for the Blu-ray or DVD. Uh, Best Buy $19.99, Target $22.99, and Walmart $24.96. I find it strange that everybody has their own unique price on this and Walmart being the highest. I find that very weird. Um, the artwork uh, is kind of cool. It's not, I, I don't love it. Uh, I'm not going to buy another version of it uh, for that. I did really like the Force Awakens standard cover. I would still like to get it, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, Walmart will have an exclusive slip cover. You know, they did the same thing again with The Force Awakens with just that exclusive slip cover. And I think it's going to be the same thing where the characters kind of cut out and uh, opens a little bit or whatever. Uh, so this will be the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack for $24.96. Then it's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Target $17.99, and Walmart $19.96. And the last thing we have already, we're at the end of this list, uh, Office Christmas Party. Uh, this one is rated R, hour and 45 minute runtime, a comedy rated R. Uh, when his uptight CEO sister threatens to shut down his branch, the branch manager throws an epic Christmas party in order to land a big client and save the day. But the party gets way out of hand. This one has Jason Bateman, Olivia Munn, 
Unfortunately, TJ Miller, Jennifer Aniston, Kate McKinnon, Rob Cordroy. Uh, and this one will be releasing on a Blu-ray and DVD with digital HD combo pack. Um, Walmart $17.96, Amazon and Best Buy $17.99, and Target $19.99. And it's also releasing on a DVD, Target $14.99, Walmart $15.96, Amazon and Best Buy $17.99. I do also plan on picking this one up on Blu-ray. Uh, I'm going to wait till Tuesday morning and see if the, there's any kind of deal with the uh, cartwheel app. But even if it was 10%, 20%, would make it on par with everyone else. So I, I might just go to Walmart and pick it up right after I go to the gym, it's on my way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably pick that one up. So I, I should have an unboxing of Office Christmas Party on Tuesday and then maybe Wednesday for Rogue One. Nothing I can do if the Steelbook's not here yet. But that's it guys. I Before I end the video though, I wanna thank you guys so much for your guys' support. Um, I, know I, I know I say it, maybe not enough, I don't know. <laughs> but um the videos have all been doing super well lately uh, my goal always is like i felt like if i could get 100 views per video it would be like awesome and and now it's like pretty much every video goes over 100 views and and now it's like where do i set the goal at now 150 200 you know <laughs> um but you guys are giving lots of likes lots of comments i always appreciate the comments new commenters and um just love hearing from you guys, love making the videos, love sharing everything with you guys, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, and I'm officially no longer partnered with Maker Gin. Um, I, I went, I'm just partnered with Google or YouTube or however you wanna say it. And uh, so I, I do still make money on my videos again. Um, but I already kinda went through all that stuff in another video with you guys, what was gonna happen. Um, I do have to kinda go through now and I, I actually deleted a ton of videos, just old videos that never really had any views. And um, actually I still need to do more probably. And I'm gonna be going back through and editing some of the uh, info. I kind of started thinking like a lot of my old videos are like really terrible, like terrible video quality, terrible audio quality. I like to almost just re-review a lot of movies, but then I'm just like, well, I have so many movies I gotta review a first time. <laughs> so I don't know guys, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check out those videos. I'll see you guys next time.